This is the rundown with Rubio from Monday, October 7th, 2024. Everything happens for a reason. North Carolina residents are still trying to get above water after Hurricane Helene. This is not a good thing. I just talked to someone in South Carolina who have had no power for 11 days. And I asked, okay, what about government funding? Nothing. It's weird because Joey B and Kamala both just said all the North Carolina residents that are affected, they're going to get 750 bucks. What the hell is that going to do? In, in case you're wondering, we just gave another package deal, a loan, if you will, or just help to Lebanon residents, $155 million. But for North Carolina, $750, that's going to do nothing. Uh, mainstream media isn't talking about it also. It's weird because when Hurricane Katrina hit, they were all over it. Hmm, it's weird. There are winners and losers in life. FEMA, like we just talked about, is saying they don't have enough money to help out residents in North Carolina, even though they've given millions and millions and millions upon millions to illegal immigrants. And Corrine Jean-Pierre, she, the press secretary, she's going to say, no, 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 we never said that, we never said that. Alejandro Mayorkas, the head of this, just said it during the summer. We've got an abundance of money. Don't worry about it. We'll be ready for the hurricane season. And now they've ran out of money, but they're saying, oh, no, we never gave it to illegal immigrants. But then there's article, 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 news story, news story, news story about how, yes, they've given millions. And we're talking almost a billion dollars to illegals, but people in the United States can't get it. What the hell? Except an embrace. Uh, at-home COVID tests have begun arriving. So you, at any point now, you're going to look at your mailbox and you're going to see your new at-home COVID test. What's the cost of these? 15 to 20 billion total dollars that your tax dollars are going for. And who is still testing for this? What's going on? I, I, I oh, yeah, okay. Working hard is not enough. DeSantis is stepping up yet again. Hurricane Milton is set to hit on the west side of Florida any moment now. And he's already got Tropicana Stadium. That's where the Tampa Bay, Buc uh, not Buccaneers, the uh, Rays play. He's already got it all set up with beds. He's already got all the uh, electrical workers ready to go. He's got all these people lined up ready, 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 because it's going to hit. There's no doubt about it. But he's already prepared. So keep your thoughts and prayers for people on the west side of Florida. Florida. Confidence is the key. Alabama, the number one team in football, former number one team in football, they played Vanderbilt this weekend in Nashville. Vanderbilt won. Okay, to say this was an upset is a, a very big, easy thing to say. Vanderbilt is known for an academic school. They are not good at football. They have not been good at football in quite some time. They went out and beat the number one team in the country. The fans were so excited. They tore down the goalposts and took them to Broadway. That's a three-mile walk with goalposts. Goalposts are not light. But all these student, college students ripped them down and took them, to, uh, took them down Broadway. Good for them. They deserve it. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email Rubio at therubiomethod.com. Let's get going, gang. Our dedicated staff is ready to work for you. Artbeat specializes in custom apparel. Call us or order online. Free shipping nationwide. Custom printed shirts are our specialty, and we make sure you get exactly what you want. Bring in your own design or let our team create one for you. Promote your business, event, or club with pens, caps, bottles, mugs, and more. Creating cool since 1985.